All right. Well, hello, everybody. How are you doing today? Uh, I do apologize for that little bit of delay, but it's definitely not my fault. Definitely not my fault. That's always the truth. Uh, I'm happy to have you here on Comics News today. Uh, we're going to be talking about some things that are going on in the comics world. Some of them quite shocking, but most of them just, you know, pretty stupid. Pretty much. Uh, but uh, let's go over here and say hello to the people we have to joining us today. Of course, first and, 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 and foremost, I would say, we have the Booster. The Booster Kiwi. How you doing, sir? Hey, how you doing? <clears throat> I'm doing so I, well. I have a sandwich. You have a sam sandwich. Uh, I, I like sandwich. sandwiches. Well, that's good. You got so, my sandwich. Piss off. <laughs> I can't. What kind of sandwich is it? Uh, ham, lettuce, and cheese on a sourdough bread. Ooh, sourdough bread sounds good, but it's With like uh, that's the most lame thing ever, dude. You're the most lame thing ever. <laughs> oh, 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 I I made him sad. I put my heart and my soul. Into the sandwich? Seeing that <laughs> cuisine is kind of banal. Booster, you put your, your heart and your soul into that sandwich, and that's all you came up with? <laughs> I know, dude. I know. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's uh, that's sad. Uh, but anyway, very happy to have Booster here today to talk about some comic books. Uh, we also have ourselves Slick Jimmy. How you doing today, Slick? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I haven't heard that forever. That's uh that sounds like a gay uh, 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 a lady black, a black lady. I oh think. my gosh, you're just making fun of me because of my orientation. That's probably true. I do that. I do that. I've been told I do that. Yeah. Uh, I was like, Chester, you're bad. Stop it. You're racist. Okay. Uh, but uh, happy to have you here, Slick. And of course, we also have rising above the mountain's edge. We can see a cloud that is sparkling with electricity. As it comes over the mountain and dives down, it lands next to a taco cart. And it orders five. It is Thundero. I am here. I have arrived. Guttural rumblings aside, I am here. That's true. In a yes, bucket of salsa. Rumblings. And the salsa. you got to have the salsa. Uh, yeah, you were uh, saying you were having uh, some dairy issues. Are you lactose intolerant? I am. Me oh, and dairy. Just... And it's the worst thing in the world because cheese is just the best food ever created. Oh, yeah. And I good. can't really eat any of it or else bad things happen. Oh, it's so sad. I'm so sad. It for is. You. Cheese you know what? I delicious. can't have, I can't have pasta, bread, or potatoes. Why? You well, is might as well just kill yourself at that, that point. It, it's my it's my keto oh, diet because I'm diabetic oh. and I don't want to like you know get fat and have it be worse. But oh, uh, my you God. Know, I can have I can have cheese. Yeah. So cheese what, what did you say? I can't have pasta, bread, and potatoes. Pasta, well, bread, and potatoes. I gotta sort my shit out now. Is what I just heard. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much pretty much uh now of course we got uh roger in here very nice to have you we got uh, eric boyd uh we got uh rod uh said right already we got ara uh in here as well nice to see ara. we got nick nick has an opinion he says there's a show tonight how did you guys pry chester away from all his white snake posters it was difficult <laughs> it was difficult. we had to it get him out. we had to force him out of well, his I... big wig and his shining uh pants so I, that's I, right I, they called me down they, i they, broke they out down. my crowbar and i just Pride his ass right off of that. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And he was like, "Here I go again on my own." I was oh, just a no. Exactly. no. Stop. Exactly. <laughs> I had a tickling sense. Of, sense Go station. down the right only there. road I've good. ever known. Yeah, that's good. They got some good songs, dude. People pick on White Snake. And I made them my mind. My mind. Do, 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 do. I hope he's happy. I hope Nick's happy. Yeah. I actually, I used to, <laughs> used to years ago. I used to do a, a White Snake cover, uh, "Lights of the City." Actually. I don't think that was their original, oh, though, but I did their version, yeah. Uh, so we got uh, Lady Celtic Moon. Hello. How you doing? Uh, we got Dave in here as well. Uh, far out man. Uh, well, uh, yeah, we're going to be getting into the news today, but uh, before we do that, I'd like to kind of give everyone here an opportunity to uh, uh, talk about anything they'd like to beforehand. Uh, so let's start with Booster, because his life is the most interesting thing ever. Uh, what's going on, brother? I, uh, I, have, I have a sandwich. Is that, sandwiches, that's your, sandwiches, the, sandwiches, sandwiches, that's the extent sandwiches. of your life, then. Is that what you're My about? life is that I pulled my back out at work, and now I have to wait on phone oh. calls for both work and uh, oh. physiotherapists oh, and wow. ACC. Sure. And I'm just sitting here <laughs> waiting. 
And I oh. had trouble carrying my groceries home the other day because my back hurts that much. Okay. Uh, of course, first thing that comes to my mind is pussy. Uh, but uh, other than uh, fuck that, you. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, that's the remedy for everything. Yeah. Uh, other than that, what were you lifting when you pulled your back out? Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So that's a lot of like, spaghetti. Spaghetti noodles or oh, sauce or God. a combo. It was it was all the uh, leaning forward and yeah. Oh. And yeah, that's what happens when with work. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Actually, I have had back uh, uh, pain once in my life, and it sucked balls. It sucked a lot. It did. Yeah. I've had the same thing. Yeah. I twisted once. I was getting in the back of my car. My, it was like you know you had to lean the seat forward because it was only two doors. And I was picking up uh, a a gallon of milk, and it just the way I twisted and it went out. And uh, it's a lot of fun for a couple of days. Yeah, you no. Know, uh, they actually had to put a shot in my spine. Oof. Yeah, it fixed it though, dude. That fixed it instantly. So you know, well, it's my... it, they drugged you up. They numbed everything that didn't that hurt. They did. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what they did. Yeah. With my father being alive and me having all of the same ailments as him, including his arthritis, I know what my future holds, and it mm. holds uh, spinal shots every three months. Just a function. Oh, man. That sucks. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, no, I had it one time. I had one time. Yeah. And it, it, it didn't hurt. I mean, it actually was a wonderful thing. And it, it, it was awesome. Really, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, the first time my back went out, it felt like the hand of God just pressed down on me. And it, I was in a basement. And my best friend's family, they're all big, robust men. Uh-huh. They had to carry me up a staircase to get me out of the house and take me to the chiropractor and do all this uh, electro stem to get my back from neck grabbing. Yeah. It was not fun, and I was down for the count for like five days because it was bad. And no, they didn't do the shot. That would have been nice if somebody had done the shot. Where was yeah, my no. damn doctor? Uh, you know, I was a touch worried about it because uh, when uh, you earlier before, uh, when my daughter was just little, she had leukemia. And we had to go do all that kind of, you know, nonsense, which is not a fun experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, no. um, uh, of course, they would take samples from her spine and the fluid from her spine to test for the leukemia, right? And uh, so I saw it happen. I was like, ooh, that doesn't look good. But actually, it doesn't hurt at all. Uh, but uh, uh, I actually found this guy one time. I used to work at the uh, uh, ice house uh, uh, for the fisherman's cooperative. And uh, I was just kind of doing my routine. And I, I saw a guy slumped over the wheel in his boat. And I thought, ah, he's just another drunk. Uh, but I went and checked on him just in case. And he had been there almost a day. His back had gone out, and he just Whoa. couldn't move. Yeah, yeah. So I got the cops Whoa. over there and the ambulance and stuff. But uh, that sucked, man, for that dude. Yeah, I, I, I could actually see that though, because the first time I it went out on me, yeah, if I'd been out somewhere, man, I would have been toast. Uh, yeah, no, I was, I couldn't move around. I, I really, could. like I said, it felt like the hand of God was on me, or like I had a pin, like you know, like a, a, a an insect. The pin through that's what it kind of felt like mm. right in the, my low back and so yeah i can totally see that if you can't get get anywhere yeah, no. good it, thing it, you were there man you're a lifesaver well wow, i just happened to pay attention to it you know like i said uh if you ever worked in the fishing industry you know quite well there are a lot of drunks i think there are also probably a lot of drunks in the spaghetti business as well wouldn't you say booster yeah, yeah mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. are you a drinker uh, booster do you enjoy imbibing the alcohol uh, not these days. Not these days. Oh, okay. All right, cool. So when I was a wee teenage boy, then why, I, I did then all my drinking. Always sound inebriated. I know, right? Yeah. That's just me, baby. Speech impediments. Oh, boy. Yeah, don't pick on his speech impediments. Uh, but, yeah. uh... Uh, Nick says, uh, hey, uh, Claudio, how you doing, dude? Uh, Nick says, enough is enough, Booster. Uh, time to quit your job and join Bad Luck's oh, fate God. wrestling school. You got to get on that. Dude. I need to do is fix my posture. I keep leaning uh, forward like I'm a fucking goblin. Oh, oh Chester. Like, ah! His name is Bad Luck Fale, not Fate. Faye, I, I went with, I saw that Fate sounded better than Fale. Fale sounded kind of <laughs> gay. Well, oh, he's a no. big, giant Samo- Samoan man. Oh, that makes sense then. Fale. Yeah. Actually, okay. I don't think he's Samoan. He's Polynesian, but regardless, he's one of those. Yeah, he's one of those. He's one of those Samoans. But he's a very large man, very large man, and I would love to see Booster 
in a wrestling ring with this large man. It would be funny. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Yeah, yeah. No, the Samoans are pretty damn big, dude. Uh, I, I mean, I'm a big dude. Uh, but um, uh, my wife and I were in the elevator, and the door opened. Uh, I was living in Hawaii at the time, and in walked this uh, Polynesian lady. I don't know where she was from, but she was probably Samoan. They're the big ones. And she walked in, literally ducked into the elevator. Might I say? ducked in to the elevator and I, I look back and I looked up I'm 6'3 and I had to look way up at this girl lady I don't know she was like pushing on seven feet dude uh yeah. I'd never seen a woman that large and she was big fat thing too I mean she must have weighed 500 pounds I mean, damn dude yeah large I'm, I'm sur- we have a lot of ponies here in Utah and uh I have seen some that were, yeah, and they always seem to be Samoan as opposed to like, you know, like Maori or, or. Yeah, no, Palmer. the Samoans are the big, the Samoans are the big ones. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Apparently though, the Hawaiians before they, you know, got inundated with white people were really big too. Um, Cause King Kamehameha's body, they, apparently they dredged up and he was over seven foot. So. Yeah, no, the Polynesians got that big gene in them. Um, oh, they do. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, the funny thing, though, if I ask you guys a question, an anthropological question, here you go, uh, uh, Thunder, I know you love these. Um, mm. uh, who are, uh, on average, the largest people in the world, though? What, do, what comes to your mind immediately? Probably, I would assume, Scandinavians. Yeah, uh, and that's true. Uh, but it's weird because a lot of people have this idea that the black uh, people of Africa are the, the tallest people on Earth. No, and, of course, not. there are some from the Congo particularly. Uh, but uh, it, it's it's an interesting image we have because, in truth, the smallest people on Earth are from Africa. Yeah, Mo- Most Africans are very small. Yeah. yeah. It's because of African Americans. Um, you know, they're, on average, fairly large. Especially well, they're compared not to African. African. I hate to tell them that they're kind of I, more white than they're black. They don't know that. Yeah. Okay. Start <laughs> oh, yeah. some racist uh, riot over here. <laughs> Anybody ever been to in the Netherlands? Like, um, I, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not super tall, but I'm, I'm used to being taller than a lot of people. And I went to the Netherlands, and I felt well, they're not really robust, but they're tall and thin. Oh you yeah. Know, like everybody's like, like all the men I. I Almost all of them were like six three or above, and the women were taller than me. And I was like, "What is going on?" The Vikings were large men. Yeah, they large were large people. Yeah. Uh, I think the Danes are the biggest right now. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, yeah, Danes are yeah. tall, and I'm I'm Danish, but I you know I'm mixed, so I, I don't have the. My cousin who lives in Vigil, which is uh, just off the, it's on the main peninsula. Yeah, but when and, I'm uh, around he's them, very folk, tall. Yeah, no, they are tall, dude. And, and when I'm around them, folk, I feel normal it's kind of nice yeah well i mean he'd be taller than you he was six six yeah no that, that's guy. my point i'm not anywhere near the tallest because most of my life anywhere i go I, i'm the tallest especially here in japan <laughs> yeah but yeah you're Dude, towering you're I'm, walking down the street seeing everybody's black top heads you know here, here's the thing i'm so tall that when i go to the supermarket i can see the entire store <laughs> seriously because their shelves are lower, right? They're, they're Japanese. They, yeah, they, yeah, they can't reach up high, yeah. right? Uh, but it's 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 an experience I never had in America. Because when I go to an American store, I can't see over the top of the shelves, really. Uh, but no, uh, really. here, I can look right. I can see the whole store. I laid out in front of me. So anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, unless Thundero or Slick have something they want to add. Nope. No, I'm, you know, I, I don't know if I want to tell everybody, but I guess I will. My mother's funeral was a day, and it was it was nice, and I'm I'm glad that she has been interred in the ground, and I can wait for her to um meet me at the pearly gates. Uh, but I'm doing well, and we're moving forward with uh, my um with my project, and I'm really excited about it actually. So uh, we just have one more page to do because somebody bought the thousand dollar tier and. So I'm waiting for the page to come. And yeah, there you go. That's uh, what I have to say. All right. Well, oh, and also, yeah. Billy Tucci sent me she. I got it in the mail today. Oh, that's nice. That's perfect. Yeah. yeah. Good on for Billy. Having a resurgent with his character. That's nice. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> all right. Well, and condolences, dude, uh, for sure. Uh, but uh, those things happen. Uh, those things definitely happen. Uh, like I said, yeah. my, I lost mine last year. Uh, you still got all your parents with you, Thundero? No, my mother just died uh, in December. Oh, well, that's right. That's right. You and I both had that. Um, and uh, how about you, Booster? Both your parents running around? 
Uh, yeah, my dad's in Auckland and he hasn't spoken to me in years. Oh, I see. Well, you know, try be a better person, Booster. Hey, hey Booster. Uh, fuck you. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's fair. You take your own goddamn advice, how about? Uh, I, I, yeah, that's probably true. That's fair enough. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, let me jump over here. I put it off for you guys to take a look at, but uh, boom, Booster. What do we have? Disney to recast Mockingbird for Hawkeye series. The, the, she was cast. Well, they had the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and that big old blonde girl was playing a Mockingbird, right? They didn't call her by name like ever, uh, but she was playing Mockingbird. And I found her to be incredibly annoying. She was like one of the most annoying parts of that show for me. I like certain parts of it, but uh, she's not going to be recast for the new Hawkeye. But I didn't bring this article up for that, really. I don't care about a Mockingbird character as so much. The thing I thought was interesting is that this is actually Clint. This is Hawkeye. That is coming out in his own mm. uh, Disney Plus series, not Kate Bishop. Oh, that shit. I thought was interesting, right? So Jeremy Renner and everything? I don't think so. I think they've got to go the young Hawkeye. They got to because uh, you know he started out as a villain, right? Um, I think they're mm. going to do that whole uh, arc with him, uh, and uh, she's got to be the Mockingbird. Is going to kind of be she's always been with him and his love interest and stuff, right? It makes sense. Uh, so go to recast uh, Hawkeye. They're going to recast Mockingbird, and they're going to start him young, and they're going to start from the beginning, and we're going to get a Hawkeye run. Uh, so for me, that makes me happy that we're getting you know the actual Hawkeye instead of the you know another fake uh, uh, or gender swap character. Uh, but do you guys think they can make an interesting, sustainable Hawkeye series? Yeah, I just hope he comes along with his awkward uh, old man mohawk again. That'd be great. I think that they can. I don't think that they will. But I think Hawkeye would be fantastic for a series if they, you know, were competent. But I don't have any faith in Disney at all. Zero. Neg in fact, negative faith. I would actually put money on the opposite mm -hmm. that they will fail miserably at this. There's a lot of pressure yeah, coming on, I'm in, dude. I'm in Thunderous camp right now. I, I I know that they're supposedly making changes and uh, you know trying to tighten the belt and all this other stuff, but I think that there's an ingrained um, ethos right now that it's going to take a while, if ever, to get rid of it. And yeah. um, until that time, I, I don't have, like Thunderous says, I don't have faith in what they can do. I think they could, uh, but will they? I don't know. Yeah, no, uh, I agree with that. I know that they want to at least show that they're not that, but we know it's ingrained. Uh, I think we're all in Thunderous camp on this uh, uh, for now until they prove us wrong, I think. Uh, but uh, yeah. I just thought it was interesting because I, I thought for sure we'd get nothing but Kate Bishop just uh, carrying on in the future, dude. Uh, so I'm surprised that we're getting an actual Hawkeye. Uh, there's going to be love uh, 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 interest. There's going to be a romance uh, 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 within the story, which, you know, wow, two white people. Uh, a heterosexual a, romance? I know. Uh, so, what? therefore. Therefore. I, uh, I think you guys are getting way ahead of yourself if you think this series is going to be led by Hawkeye the whole time. But at least a male white Hawkeye. No, it sounds like it happen. will be, though, dude. It really nah, does. Nah, nah, nah. I That's the bait and switch. I think the recast on the Mockingbird is the thing to look at, dude. I think that she's going to be a black girl. I think, mm -hmm. and she's going to take over as Hawkeye when he dies in that series. Uh, maybe, Guaranteed. Maybe. Yeah, Guaranteed. That's possible. Happen. That's possible. Um, uh, and Nick C says, uh, Mockingbird, I can't wait for Chelsea Kane to write the show. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but oh, we'll boy. see. We'll see. I, I, I thought it was, I just, I couldn't believe that we're actually getting uh, a Hawkeye. Uh, mm. What do you think about this uh -huh. booster? Have you ever read Hawkeye? You're a fan at all? Uh, the only series I read was that one from the hipster guy that everyone hates. Oh, I Is see. Is that block again? I forget his name. Yeah, well, the hipster, <laughs> and the I hipster forget guy. most of that series. So that that's how much of an impression it left on me. Yeah, they should make new T-shirts and say, "Ask me about my money losing agenda." That's right. Yeah, Matt but, Fraction. Matt Fraction. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but no, because you're a Daredevil fan, and and Hawkeye yes. is kind of like a grungy, you know, he's a grungy dare Daredevil in a way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, he's kind of like a discount Daredevil. <laughs> yeah. That's funny because Daredevil is discount a Spider Man, so. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, you know, it started anyway. Dude, I've read a lot of Spider-Man comic books and I've read a lot of Daredevil comic books. 
I prefer Daredevil. As do I. Yeah, for sure. I mean, not taking anything away from Spider-Man, but, uh, hmm. uh, you know, because I've, I've enjoyed his comics for, yeah, I love, since I was I love little. Spidey as much as the next guy, but, you know, Daredevil's my boy. It's more interesting, I think. Mm. Um, anyway, any other comments on this? I just, I'm, I'm shocked, dude. I can't, I can't believe it. I think um, the pattern has been with a lot of these shows is they either go full outrage marketing and go ridiculous to get people's attention, or they pretend that they're not going that route and they go, well, this is just going to be, you know, your traditional show or whatever. They won't say that, but they, that's how all the marketing looks. Right. And then they do the bait and switch and you get woke nonsense all throughout it or they do a switch of the main characters and stuff like that yeah i really think that's what's going to happen here i'd be shocked if he stays for two seasons as hawkeye whoever this whoever the guy is who's playing him you know i i I, here's a question though and this is a legitimate question i'm not i'm not fooling around um if trump wins in november does this change these agendas we're seeing in hollywood or that do they double down um, Trump winning in 2016 just didn't change anything. So why would yeah, I, I why would it now? Changing much? I'd see it maybe in accelerating it. I mean, what what I mean, if until... he? Win, yeah, but what if he wins in like a absolute devastating over uh, slide? Then the left will care. push for secession, and the United States will shatter. That's hmm. what will happen. I think that's going to happen anyway. Spoilers. Yeah. In the next couple of years, I don't. I think it's over. It's done with the people. We hate each other. We don't want to that live together. That is fair. Um, uh, Dave says mm-hmm. double down. I know it's weird to mention the politics when we're talking about. We're just talking about comic book uh, uh, TV shows. We, we and stuff, never but, do that. Well, no, because I think it applies <laughs> more now than it usually would. Booster. I mean, everything mm-hmm. like Thunder said. Everyone is so polarized. It's yeah. r- ridiculous level of polarization. I mean, there's people who never cared anything about, uh, uh, you know, politics at all. That there are nothing but political now. It's a it's a mm-hmm. radical shift, dude. Radical. Um, and uh, you know, it's war. I guess it's pure, uh, full on culture war. Oh well. Uh, and Nixie mm-hmm. says Joe Biden's going to win. There will be massive voter fraud. Yeah, there will be. There already is. It's already started, dude. Mm-hmm. whatever anyway uh maybe we'll get a season of fun out of it uh, who knows uh let's see i'm going to save that for fun because we have a few uh i'm going to do a few depressing articles and then i'm going to come back to something fun okay okay All okay right. okay here we go now uh go ahead booster uh, where, where are we Snake Eyes actor Henry Golding claims he cried on the phone after <gasps> the first week of filming the gi <gasps> joe movie oh Pussy. Pussy. Why? Yeah, well, what's up with all these men crying? What what are you crying about, dude? You know The only time I ever cry is when I'm alone and it has to be something terrible has happened, like the death of my mother. Other than oh. that, I don't cry. Oh, ever. that's I never even cry in those situations. The, the the hardest thing for me is when I'm in front of people. That's where you gotta suck it up. Uh you know, because yeah. we have occasions where you have to suck it up. Because uh, in my adult life, I've cried once. Once. Would you like me to share that moment of weakness with you? Would you like me to? I shall. I shall. I'm going to. Uh, I it was coming up on Halloween. Uh, my son, which I had I had planned for, by the way, I had tried it twice. My daughter was born on October 4th. I was trying really hard to have a Halloween baby. I was trying. So that my daughter was born too early. The boy's due date. Guess what it was, Booster? Guess no, what it was. Was it 31st of October? Yes, oh, I was on goodness. track. I did the math correct, like, and it was working, right? And uh, <laughs> I had a baby, a Halloween baby coming. And then we took uh, my daughter for her two-year checkup. And uh, as you have to do in America, it's like law or something. And they found, oh, she's got leukemia. So they threw her in the hospital immediately because she was almost dead. We, we didn't even know, know right? And uh, so we went through that. She spent it was in the hospital for weeks. You know, and I mean, it was just an absolute mess. My wife was stressed to hell. So uh, they had to finally induce my wife to, uh, to have the pregnancy uh, come out because it was uh, going on too long. So he's born on the 14th of November. Uh, but <clears throat> here's the weird thing. We're going through all that stress. I'm trying to be strong for my wife and, you know, the family and everything like that. And uh, it was like on a Sunday, I think. Uh, it was the day after Halloween, 
because we were busy. We were at the hospital. We couldn't do anything with Halloween, right? And um, uh, I had gone out and was trying. I was in Hawaii, which is a problem, number one. And I was trying to find a pumpkin. I just wanted to have a pumpkin in the house. For some damn reason, I was obsessed with it. And I couldn't find a goddamn pumpkin in Hawaii, right? And I just came home, and I told my wife I couldn't find the pumpkin. I just lost it, dude, for like a minute, you know? So, I mean, that's that's well, my I, moment. I think you had other stressors besides the pumpkin. I'm sure it was other things. I know, of course, it was other things. That's not my point. Uh, I'm just saying that that's what it took for me to cry as a man. Because you're not supposed to. You're supposed to control yourself, right? Um, and uh, so I don't know. That, that's not even the big part of this thing. But just the, the I cried on the phone. Why? I don't know. No, I would like to know the context. Yeah, so would I. <sighs> Anyway, that was cathartic. I feel better, Thundero. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say, yeah. um, I just looked through uh, She, uh, that I just got Return of the Warrior. This was well. Well? Yes, yeah, it, well worth it. It was money. well. Oh, I see. Well, you you cut out there. Well worth it. Oh, that's good. Now I expected so. Uh, Billy was very. Uh, we we talked to him a couple times here on this show and on the uh, on the other show there with the Coffee uh, Aki uh, Habara, and uh, he was very excited. He really thought he had something. So I'm not surprised. You know, he is he is an old time pro. He knew knows what he's doing. Uh, Ray yep. Thulu says it's okay for a man to cry when his dog dies or when his favorite uh, team wins the championship. Any other time is soy. Uh, yeah, no, I know we're probably overreacting to it, but uh, I just I don't know. I cried when my mom died. <laughs> yeah, no, I guess I, I, I'm I'm very old fashioned when it comes to those kind of things, though. Chester uh, just didn't love his mother. That's all. Well, my 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 mom. I was right next to her. I mean, I yeah, I, I saw her last breath. So, uh, yeah. I, I'm not going to, I'm not ashamed of it whatsoever. Um, I cried when my mom died. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, and, but at least it's more than, you know, on the phone because after the first week of filming GI Joe, uh, but, uh <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. It, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, and, uh, yeah, well, it, it, loving your mother is not the same as liking your mother. Thundero. They're different things. Uh, but anyway, that's not even the point I wanted to uh, uh, to kind of glean uh, 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 glom on here. Uh, Booster, thank you for distracting me. Um, hey, what? Yeah, why Booster. It, why is there an Asian dude oh. playing Snake Eyes? That's my that's my point. Cultural appropriation. Cult- it is cultural appropriation. Why can't they let us have anything? They can't. Because you well, won't see wh- his face, people, so it won't matter. Wh- white people are, are the worst because we did stuff, you know, yeah, I know. one time. Sometimes we did things, you know, we, 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 uh, you know, here in Utah, we, we put uh, Native Americans heads on, on spikes, uh, conquering the area. Uh, yeah, that's and, right. And, you know, as you do, as you do. Yeah. That's what we, but no, I mean, we, we did do that. White, white people did that. However, I didn't do that and I had to pay for it. I would it's, do it's it. It's my though. fault. I would. You wouldn't have to pay me much money either. I well, would, I know yeah. you're free. You're uh, you're freaking Viking. I'm a barbarian. That is fair. Uh, but uh, no, the Snake Eyes character is exactly exactly the same as uh, Danny Rand, of course. Iron Fist. It's the same story. It's fish out of water. Uh, it is uh, white people putting themselves into a foreign culture to uh, to see it from within. It, it's kind of the take on it. Um, and uh, that's what Snake Eyes is. Matter of fact, who's first? Is Iron Fist must be uh, or, or before Snake Eyes, right? Must be. Oh, yeah, Iron yeah. Fist is your way yeah. before Snake. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, here's so... my question, Chester. So you live in Japan. You have Japanese oh. children and a Japanese wife. Um, if you to these people, I would, I just like, to, I would love for them to answer this. Say you adopted Japanese culture, like you just went full into it. Yeah. All in. Would that be a, that be problematic? Even though you've literally become Japanese, effectively. Your family's all Japanese, and you speak Japanese fluently. I want. I just wonder if they would have a problem with your existence in Japan as a, mm. as a non-Japanese person. Oh no, the Japanese find me as an interesting novelty. No, not them. I'm talking about the the leftists, the woke wokies who get all mad about cult, cultural appropriation and white saviors. Oh well, did you go to Japan to save them? 
Chester, I, is that I why you're there? Probably did. They needed a lot of saving. <laughs> uh, but he uh, colonized the womb. Baby Jesus, oh, I, I did. He, I, he I, went I, there to make up for Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That's yeah, yeah. what the real. I still was think there. those things are stupid. Uh, but um, <laughs> <laughs> Japanese don't take uh, kindly to me that with that. But I, I don't give a shit. Uh, uh, they they like oh, they, they're nuclear their weapons. Yeah, well, it's your own damn fault. You don't want shit. Don't start shit. Mm-hmm. That's right. right? It's very simple. Well, then they, they they go back to like Admiral Byrd or whatever, like opening the Tokyo. Well, you started it first. Uh, you're talking about uh, you taking. You're talking about um, uh, black ships there. That's not Bird. It's um. It was a God Bird. damn, Who he's was my grandmother's big... neighbor's family. Actually, uh, what's his name? The black ships. I don't know. It's not Bird. Is it pain? But they came into Tokyo Bay and they said you're going to open up and we're going and they had to open up because they were technologically behind. No, and they were. They were shocked, and it was their shock uh, that led them into such quick growth, which led them into mm-hmm. military control, uh, which led them into, you know, Nagasaki, Hiroshima. Uh, but, um, uh, damn it, I can't remember his name, because the that family is actually the neighbors of my, my grandmother's uh, uh, or grandfather's property, actually. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, they, I don't give a shit what they say. Uh, but, no, uh, as far as that goes, I imagine I'm a villain. I'm white. Uh, and uh, I'm not gay, Thundero. Uh, How dare yeah, you? I, I, I am the I am the evil that is all evil. So yeah. But whatever, Mister um, Crying Man. Was it was it Commodore Perry? Uh, it was it Perry. Yeah, Perry, it was there Matthew it is. Perry. Thank you, Commodore yeah, Perry. <laughs> Commodore Perry. It's Matthew yeah, Perry yeah, yeah. from Friends. <laughs> it was Matthew Perry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Funny because we actually where I live, the the. One of the wealthy suburb cities of the main city is called Perrysburg, named after Commodore Perry. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, you know the funny thing? The Japanese still to this day, uh, of course, Japanese are history deniers anyway, uh, but uh, still to this no. day, they say he was an aggressor. Uh, and, of course, he was sent by our Congress to Japan because he was a dove, right? That's yeah. why he was sent to make peaceful opening negotiations. And the reason why, you know, if you look into it, uh, why do the Japanese think that? Well, it's because he had these ships off coast and they would do uh, uh, lots of drilling on the ship to keep the morale and, and uh, you know, the, uh, you know, keep things efficient because they're a long way from home and they, they couldn't in, in mass d- uh, disembark the boat. And uh, so to keep discipline, they would drill all the time. So the Japanese thought that they were being aggressive, right? But they weren't. They were just trying to keep their men in line, right? Right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, anyway. Walter and Perry. Well, thank you very much, Cult Film Video. It was very nice. Uh, other than showing him as Caucasian, uh, has Snake Eyes' ethnicity ever been uh, defined? Yes. It has. Uh, he was an adopted white boy uh, by a ninja master. And uh, he grew up alongside uh, Shadow... Shadow... Something shadow, shadow something. Shadow the Hedgehog. No, you know what I mean. Uh, the the other ninja, the bad guy ninja that works the, for Cobra. The white, the white ninja. The white ninja. The white, yeah. And white. they didn't get along because uh, Snake Eyes was better, and the and the and the father showed more attention to him. Da da da. We've heard this story before. Uh, of course, uh, once again, even before Iron Fist, maybe. We had the uh, role of uh, Kane uh, in, uh, of course, uh, uh, the Legend of Kung Fu. Which was, you know, sad, oh, sad yeah. when you get uh, uh, oh, the man who was supposed oh. to be was with Bruce Lee. But it is what. What is Chester talking about? Nothing important. Shadow Storm. Storm, that's it. storm Shadow. Yeah, storm Shadow. Shadow Storm, Storm Shadow, whatever it is. Uh, storm Alan shadow. is in to save the day, dude. Uh, Nick, you know I, n- I don't know what I'm talking about. Just let it go. Uh, anyway, uh, this guy definitely looks like he has some German in him. But whatever. You keep crying, brother. Uh, here we go. Oh, oh, more of it. Did I find the mother load of race swapping today? Booster, did I? Oh my go Oh ahead. my god. Look at the DC films, Race Swaps Hawkman, with casting of Eldis Hodge. Wait, is that his Eldis Hodge? Is that his name? Yep. Hodge? Hodge. Yeah. Hodge. Hodge. It, that's these people need to change their name. Their names are awful. I hate well, it. Well, that's his slave name anyway. He should be changing his the slave name. Black Adam movie. Okay, all right. He should they're, be they're Umbu doing... That that's awesomeness right there. Work. Doing the eagle people for uh, Black Adam. Okay, they're going into ancient shit, I guess. I guess, maybe. Uh, yeah. But, um, uh, you know, don't really care. 
the the rock's usually fun, so it might be fun. Uh, but just another example of uh, giving some handy down character to black people. You know, I mean, uh, they, they don't. They go. don't. Re- We're done playing with this. You can have it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. I mean, we've had so many people play Hawkeye. Right. Think of a uh, uh, one of my favorite uh, Hawkeyes was the dude from Stargate. Uh, uh, what was Daniel? The guy who played Daniel in Stargate. He played Hawkeye for a while on a TV show. Um, you but, mean um, Hawkman or? What did I say? Hawkman or Hawkeye? Hawkman. Did I say Hawkeye? Yeah. That's you your fault. Like I blame Hawkeye. Booster. Yeah. Booster's in my, he's a worm in my head. It's his fault. No, Hawkman. No. I do apologize. It's not my uh, fault at brain, all. In fact. Brain bug. Yeah. But just more hand me downs. Brain bug. <laughs> just more hand me downs for the blacks, the Thundero. When are they going to start get, realizing and start getting angry at this? They keep giving Never. them this, these, these used characters. They love characters. it for some reason. Well, because they think they're getting whitey, I guess. Yeah. Right? You know, get whitey. But, we ooh, took your. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna screw your women too, whitey. All right. I don't, now, and that's another thing. that's funny because you get. The, that's a very big argument oh. in the in the black community. <laughs> but no. Uh, black oh dudes no! Are chasing don't take white... all the fat white woman, please. Yeah, no. please have them. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but no, black dudes chasing white ladies. Uh, the funny thing about that is, I mean, go ahead and you do whatever you want. I mean, sh- I married a Japanese, but here's the thing. Uh, if you're talking about black purity and you're all about Wakanda and you're on and on about that, which Wakanda seems to be forever. the big thing, you do realize by taking that white chick, you're reducing your race, right? Whoopsies. Uh oh, whoopsies. Well, I found a whoopsie Thundero. It's hybrid vigor. Come it's on. It's okay because they'll like they'll just say that baby ain't mine, and it's all sort of. There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, am I am I a racist Thundero for saying that? Yeah, probably. Oh, sweet. All right. I, I just wonder, uh, can all three of Hawkman's actual diehard fans make a stink about this? or <laughs> like, Does anybody really care if they race swap Hawkman? Hey, now, I've enjoyed a Hawkman comic or two. They're not bad. Yeah, dude. but come on. Like, at the end of I the day, one he's once. so inciliary, he might as well not even exist as a character. And How nothing would change. He, I, he has wings and a mace. Yeah, and, and the uh, whole Thinegar line is pretty fun, actually. And uh, Infamital. He does have Infamital, you're right. Now, yeah, I've actually yeah. always liked Hawkman. I mean, I'm not going to go to uh, go to bat for him, but uh, yeah, exactly. I'm not a... That's yeah. my point. <laughs> uh, Chester, uh, uh, Nixie said, Chester, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow were in the same unit in Vietnam. I didn't know that, so I guess my knowledge is from the movie. Uh, or, or, or stuff, or maybe even the TV show. Because uh, I never read a, co- uh, a, a, a G.I. Joe comic. I know they've been making them forever, though. Uh, Alids the Hedgehog. Perfect, Alan. Very nice. Uh, the first time DC promoted Hawkman in at least three years. It's been a while. Hugh Jackman should have been Hawkman. Oh, that would have been cool, dude. Black Adam is going to stink. I have zero faith in DC movies. Eh, it's fair. But, I mean, The Rock is usually fun. He's usually fun. I mean, it, it might be alright. Is Black Adam a character you'll describe as fun? No, that's that's the problem. Yeah, yeah. that is the problem. Uh, uh, you know, and I'm a big Black Adam fan. I like Black Adam quite a bit. Uh, yeah. But yeah, no, you're right. It's it. He looks perfect for the role. Is the problem? He looks like it. He but he's gonna have to. He looks like it'd be great. His, you know, no, he has to stretch his dramatic legs. You're right. Yeah, mm. we'll see. Maybe he will. Or maybe they'll make maybe. it a, 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 a camp comedy, which is probably more than likely what's going to happen. That would really suck if they did that. It that would. Was not I have like a Adam. question. Yeah. This is off topic. Well, not off topic, but kind of to the side. Who do you think would play a good Vandal Savage? Ooh. Oh, when he was younger. I don't the- know why, but... Sorry? No, go, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say uh, a younger Danny Trejo, maybe, but I also want him for Lobo. Uh, he'd be good for Lobo, yeah. No, the uh, problem with Danny Trejo, he's only like five foot six. He's Danny's really short, one hundred and thirty-five. Oh, That's a problem. No, they, <laughs> they squandered. They squandered the best Lobo and made him Aquaman. They did. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Yeah. They did. Uh, but uh, no, the savage. my favorite oh. Vandal Savage, I think, would it would have been. Uh, I don't like him uh, in the, the Star Trek, but uh, the Franks guy, uh, number one, he would have been a good Franks. Rat. Yeah, if he could pull the he acting would. off, he would look. He, he he'd be good. He looks like it. Yeah, you need I a would caveman just, looking dude. Yeah, well, he's a like, Sumerian actually. I I would just like uh, Vandal Savage. Period. Like on the big screen, I think he's 
one of their most underutilized yeah. villains. He's actually yeah. my very favorite of all the of oh, yeah. all the like super villains. He's my favorite because he has such a rich backstory. And when I finally discovered him, I'm not a big DC guy. I started like he was the one that I dug, like Lex or so, whatever. But um, round Vandal, and I love his name. Vandal Savage is just a wonderful name. Well, it's not his actual name, but but he took it as an epitaph. Well, but uh, you, know, I, you know what I mean. But that's like you know, Apocalypse what was his actual is, name is a real like, name. But I mean, I forget. <laughs> it's Umbunga or something like that. Umbunga. Yeah, it goes. It goes. Well, it's, you know, it's, they also said that he was like Genghis Khan, and he was um, many things. Yeah. All yeah, many historical figures. That was all him. Well, he's thousands of years old. Um, and, and yeah. of course, you guys are absolutely right. Uh, Vandal Savage, as a uh, mastermind behind the scenes uh, doing stuff, would be brilliant. The problem is we don't have writers that can pull it off. We just don't. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's even better than uh, Ra's al Ghul, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, this, I agree. You know, mm. yeah, he just I has agree. a ridiculous name, a super comic booky name, but his character mm. is fantastic. Yeah, no, Nixie, you're right. The best representation of uh, Vandal Savage was on Young Justice. Yeah, he was straight yep. up. Uh, I love was great. the yeah. super comic book name. And, I love it. It's cool. In Young Justice, he was pretty much the hit of the Illuminati. <laughs> it was fantastic. It was perfect yeah. for him. Well, no, I mean, you need a great writer that can uh, weave an incredible web, web of deceit throughout a storyline, and then Vandal Savage is revealed as being the person behind it. You need a great writer that can do that. We just don't well, have it. The hacks, they exist, dude. but Hollywood refuses to use them. I, I've been watching randomly for some reason. I've been on like a Korean cinema kick, uh -huh. and they're great at that. Unbelievable at it. They will yeah. they will put together a script with ridiculous, fantastical nonsense and throw twists every other ten minutes in there that you didn't see coming. Yeah, no, and but, yeah, but you got to remember that Chester won't watch a Korean movie. <laughs> That's I'm not saying it has to be a no, Korean movie, I watched but the, the writers boy, exist. The host, Train to Busan, I watched all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but mm -hmm. this is the reason why. Uh, it was the next, very next article is the reason why we're having this problem. Go ahead, Booster. Oh, God. Ooh, ooh. Report, J.J. Abrams working on multiple Justice League Dark spinoffs for HBO. A, a Justice League Dark spinoff? Justice League Dark is a spinoff. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, but this is the problem. Can somebody wall up J.J. Abrams. He's obviously a revenant. Um, please Clearly. put him in a crypt somewhere Clearly. so a thousand years he can fuck up their movies. Well, this is the problem, though, uh, 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 Slick. These guys are in charge of shit. Him, Kennedy, a whole bunch of other ones. They're the ones making decisions, and they're freaking hacks, dude. They're hacks. Gentlemen, going back to what we were just talking about with Vandal, who to play him? A young Daniel Day-Lewis. That's who would play him, oh, and he would yeah. kill him. Yeah, he probably would kill it. Yeah. Hell, That's I think fair. he'd be good now. He probably <laughs> could still do it now, but he's he's getting up there. Yeah. yeah. Find yeah. somebody who who has who's a well preserved forty, so it has some gravitas to him. It still looks pretty good. Yeah. Six, yeah. Sixty three years old now, so they'd have to really make yeah. him up to pull it off. We're yeah, talking man. about all this. They're gonna like cast fucking Tom Hardy or something. You know, some <laughs> mad, yeah, sure. some yeah, mad sure. lit. Yeah, it's sure. It's sure. Well, you know, Tom Hardy has his moments, though. He does. In that, yeah, in that show, Peaky teeny. Blinders, he's freaking epic, dude. He is small. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway, I don't really care about this article per se. It's the J.J. Abrams thing. And the thing that caught my eye was right here. Uh, 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 let's see. Where is it here? Um, uh, let's see. Produce spinoffs. Da, 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 da. Something that caught my It's, of course, going to be Zantenna and Constantine in a show together. Plus, they have other ideas. Uh, where is it here? Uh, it to be Matt Ryan as Constantine. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, that man owns that role. Do you, do you think they were going to put Zatanna in her traditional outfit? I know, of no, course not, dude. Was... And she'll probably yeah. be uh, she'll probably be Korean. Uh, but um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, they in this uh, article they call JJ a super producer. Oh, Lord. Therefore, I, I, he, he sure is. He I got, sure is, but not of good things. I got a hair up my producer. ass. I got a hair up my ass for that. So I went and took a look. You guys ready? We're going to go through right, let's, the, let's go. the let's producing play. credits of J.J. Abrams. You guys ready for this? You ready for this? Let's go. He, he's got Party. 15 uh, 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 credits for a direct name. We'll, maybe we'll look at that later. But all right, let's take a look. Regarding Henry, he was Jeffrey Abrams oh, at the time. I right? love it. Yeah. Forever Young. Uh, that was yeah. the vampire show, right? 
uh, the pallbearer, don't know. So Sun, the Suburbans, Joyride. Actually, Joyride is supposed to be a pretty good movie, I think. Felicity. Uh, okay. Joyride is a good movie. Um, uh, Alias. It was, it was all right. It was all right. Uh, what about Brian? Six Degrees. He's uh, what about Brian? Yeah. Uh, and then of course he did Cloverfield. Now here's the thing. Uh, oh. let, let's take a look at his uh, directing. Now we'll get to that later. Uh, all of this stuff, there are some successful things in there, I guess, but it's all ladies drama, right? And, uh, how did he jump into Cloverfield all of a sudden in 28, uh, 2008? Um, I kind of wondering, is his daddy important or his uncle? I mean, probably it's Hollywood. It's big yeah. incestuous nonsense over there. Yeah. Yeah, so he's basically been given kind of a laid out career here for him. Uh, Lost, which we co- we know had very little to do with him, and of course they well, ended you know, it like You know shit. what JJ stands for? It's not Jeffrey. It's Jewy Jewess. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Oh, true. we're canceled. Uh, Super Eight, which I didn't care for. My wife loved it though. Uh, Ghost Protocol, not great. Uh, Undercovers, Alcatraz, that show failed very quickly. Fringe, I liked Fringe, uh, but uh, uh, once again, he wasn't the driving force behind that. Uh, Star Trek Into Darkness, we won't even talk about. Uh, oh, I loved it. Revolution Believe. Yeah, Gerald this... W. Abrams is his father, and yes, he was also a producer. There we go. There we go. I <laughs> thought yeah. so. Like, uh, but there's a lot of stuff in here that just isn't good. It's pretty, but it's not great. I mean, you look at all of this stuff, and 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 what his involvement was was you know is very questionable, right? A lot of times they just throw titles on there. So was he actually working? Was he a working producer? or Is he just a name? Uh, and I think it's more important that we come over and instead of all this stuff where his name's just been touched to, let's take a look where he's a director because that actually is going to give us a little bit more understanding of him. So, Felicity, he did two episodes. Okay. Mm. Lost, he oh, did pilot one the and pilot. two. Pilot. Right. Oh. Okay. You but yet everyone touches his name to Lost, right? right. Yeah. It, wasn't that more Damon Leibniz, uh scene? Whatever that guy's name was. The dickhead who did Watchmen and fucked it up. Yeah, well, fair enough. Um, yeah. Uh, the alias, he did five of those. So he did quite a few of those. Mission Impossible 3, uh, of course, Jimmy Kimmel Live. <laughs> uh, Star Trek stuff's not great. He did Super 8. Uh, Star Wars, of course, my God. Spy Jinx, which was an absolute... Uh, I don't even know about that movie. So Spy? <clears throat> Apparently there was a video game, oh, okay. according to that credit. Okay, I don't know it. The don't know hell it. is Spy? Why yeah. Jinx? Creative director. Uh, but the point is, if you look on this list, this shows you his... Di- this is him working, right? This is him working. Uh, other than those ridiculous amounts of credits he gets tacked on to up here. Um, uh, so I think a lot of it was him just be- being with Dad and, and having his name put on to get him a name in Hollywood. And he got an opportunity to do a few things. So uh, Felicity, to the original pilot to Lost, uh, the Alias stuff. Um, what on here would you guys consider to be awesome? Because he's supposed to be the most awesome thing since sliced bread, right? So what um, on here is awesome? Oh my god, he hasn't done that much. No. Nope. But That's but he's awesome. Make fun of him. Right. But he's no, awesome. No Tarantino. Well, and even no. then, I I don't like Tar- Tarantino as a human. I think he's a scuzz. Yeah. Uh, well, but yeah. uh, he's made a few good movies though. For damn sure, yeah, he knows what he's movies, yeah. doing. Yeah, uh, but this the, this is a problem. People like J.J. Abrams, these these uh, golden spoon uh, uh, kids uh, that have been uh, put into positions and they think they're awesome because everyone tells them so because they they want to make money. Um, and he's these kind of guys are the ones that are in the way of seeing an actual badass Vandal Savage that it should be because you know right well there's no way Hollywood can handle doing a proper Vandal Savage right now. There's no way, dude. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Colorful costumes, bang, boom, boom, boom. Keep keep the audience, keep them moving. They don't need no plot. They don't need no uh, story development. Just action, color. Uh, they're a bunch of dumb goldfish, right? That's the co- the concept, and that's the attitude we have. So, <sighs> heck, I'd I'd love a Vandal Savage movie that's Vandal Savage, like it tells his story. Yeah, I'd love that. It'd be awesome because it would be freaking cool. Uh, well, Alan from the Hall Comics believes that he could produce the same stuff after eating a large burrito. Mm. 
that's, that's, that's okay. Uh, they Gerald... probably make like a Joker-esque move that's just called Savage. Oh, oh, that might be cool. Because that's hey, what they would do, right? Fred, maybe we get Fred Savage to play Vandals. Oh, God, <laughs> shut up. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's what, see. What? Uh, uh, Cult like Video idea? wants to defend the Abrams. All right. Uh, he has a good TV uh -oh. track record. Uh, he was 21 when he wrote regarding Henry. That's not bad. Uh, Cloverfield Batman uh, director Matt Reeves worked on Felicity. Now, there you go. Thank you. Uh, his dad was a producer. Mm -hmm. His mom was an ex producer, uh, executive producer, and his sis uh, is a screenwriter. Of course, they're all incestuous. Uh, what these guys are doing is trash. I'm so ready for some good news. Yeah, me too, dude. Uh, me too, Roger. Uh, if you ever wonder where Ray's name come from, JJ's first name is Jeffrey. Uh, he is hella weak. Wow. Wow. Did he name her after yeah. himself? Did he do that, dude? Yeah. Well, he's just falling in the footsteps of George Lucas. That's all right. Uh, no, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, he uh, created, wrote, and produced Felicity, Elisa, uh, uh, Alias, sorry, and Lost, which got him uh, MI3, uh, which launched his career. All right, fair enough. Uh, da, 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 da. I st he's still a hack. I don't really care. Um, anyway, I, let, I still don't think that he deserves to have you know, his fingers messed in both Star Wars and Star Trek for Cornell. Oh, more than that, dude. He's been he's been given the everything. Everything is at his feet right now. JJ can do whatever he wants to do right now. He is well, what Spiel, Steven Spielberg was. And the, but the, of course, the difference is Spielberg can make a damn good movie, and he can mm -hmm. end it right. And he didn't have to use a damn lens flare. No, he <laughs> didn't. Yeah. Although I I will argue that JJ uh, is actually a cinematographer. That's what he's really good at. Well, let him be a cinematographer then. All right, fair enough. But anyway, I'm being told we need happy news. So happy news, it's time. Wait, where's the happy news? Go ahead, Booster. Uh, how do I even say this first word? Sassiana? Cassiana? 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 Cassiana. Cass Cassiana art shares stunning pinup of Emma Frost, Ooh. Psylocke, and Ooh. other X-Men characters. Ooh, sexy lady time. Oh. Sexy lady oh. time. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Here we go. Uh, that's sexy not so sexy. Lady. But it's out of the comic book anyway. Ooh, look what she's wearing, though, Booster. You like it? Do you like mm. it? Do you like I, it? I do. It yeah. makes my pee-pee yeah. big. Here's the thing. How would you walk yeah. around in public with that? Just curious. How would you do that? Um, with a lot of moxie. I'd a lot. Do it because... A lot of moxie. Because uh, she's a she brave a woman. She can wear what she wants. Well, actually, them putting her in that outfit to go into the strip club to sneak in and uh, kind of detective herself in the movie, that was clever. That was clever because there's no other way they could put her in the suit, right? Uh, so I thought that was pretty clever. Uh, but anyway, then we got some good pictures coming down. We got some more stuff out of the comic book talking about her. Ooh, she got some sex time with the beast. That's nice. Yeah, that's 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 that's, that's illegal in most states. Uh, let's oh, see that's here. Weird. All right, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? That's, 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 uh, that's I'm buxom. digging it. That's buxom. Um, digging it. And she's got and she's and she's got the string bikini bottoms like she should. And she got the whip. Thundera, would you like to mm -hmm, commentary mm -hmm. upon this buxom woman? Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. PP very big. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Hello. Oh, oh, hello. My main problem with Jean is she's always wearing too much clothes. Yeah, yep, these days especially, yeah. But, um, yeah, my main problem with Jean Grey is she uh, mentally turned Bobby into a gay. That's my problem. Mm. Allegedly. Mm. Allegedly. Mm. Oh, look at that. That's kind of, I like the background more than I like the foreground. Yeah, it's cool as hell. Yeah. So if that yeah, face yeah, is the body's easy. a bit wonky. Yeah, whoever this artist is, you know, you know, you can do better. You can, you know, work on their proportions a little bit. Oh, we got a little kitty here. Oh, 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 oh. This person likes these uh, very, very buxom women's. Me I like the me, background me too. though. Yeah, eh, I like more athletic. Buxom girls. isn't bad though. I, I don't have a problem with buxom. I don't uh, have a problem with athletic. I'm I don't fine. have a problem with really spelt as long, as long as they're pretty, you know, keep the aesthetics, you know, that's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, I, that's the first time I've heard someone use felt since Barney Miller. Damn. Uh, oh. Dude, I, I know words. You do. Oh, they colored it up. It looks better. Yeah. yeah I love the backgrounds to this person though. Uh, let's see here. Come on. Get, that's it. That's all. Well, they I have deserve more. They have been, she's the commissions there. How much are the commissions? Go back. I want to see that. That's not so bad. bad. 
Yeah. No. Two hundred bucks yeah. for full colors. Yeah. 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 Not bad at all. yeah. Very nice. The X Men no, red uniform is crap. I kind of agree. Um, yeah. Yeah. A bustier. Yeah, I caught that, Alan. Uh, do you know booster? Those things are called bustiers. Uh, bustiers. Yeah, so I'm, I'm well aware of them. Yes. Do you? you know, does booster my... wear bustiers? I bet he does. Uh, I bet he wears Merry Widows. Tuesday night when no one's uh, watching. Oh, there you go. Do you wear, do you wear Merry, Merry Widows? Oh. Oh. Allegedly. Mm. Allegedly. All right, let's come over here and talk about our last little uh, story of the day. Go ahead, Booster. Oh, hey. New rumor claims Marvel is interested in Keanu Reeves for Moon Knight. I'm down. Um, I like it. I mean, it's cool, but is, is he uh, getting past his prime, do you think? Or do you think he's well, still... Good. Do you think uh, they can pull him off? <laughs> they can pretend he's 30? Well, no. It depends on the Moon Knight story you're trying to tell. Um, mm. uh, but the thing uh, about this, <clears throat> obviously we'll talk about the idea of it in a second, but uh, for me, <laughs> uh, isn't everyone interested in doing something with Keanu Reeves right now? I mean, yeah, come on. He's awesome. The whole world he's wants Keanu, Keanu Reeves, right? Everybody loves Ted. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, but um, uh, Thundero, tell me, what would you do? You think Keanu could even mildly pull off? No, no, dude, not even close. Not 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 if they want to do a good Moon Knight movie. If they want to do a mm. Keanu Reeves Moon Knight movie, it'll be fine, but it won't be Moon Knight. Yeah. I think the action stuff would be fine because Moon Knight yeah. is basically a brutal version of Batman, right? Mm-hmm. He's far far rougher than Batman is, right? Uh, so, and that's his claim to fame, I guess. So he could do that, but the problem is he's in a mask, a hood to be particular. So I don't know. I, I, I just, I mean, I get the interest because everyone wants to work with Keanu, sure. But I don't know that this would even be close to a good choice. Chat, what do you think? Do you think uh, Keanu Reeves could even begin to pull off Moon Knight? I mean, that's a conflicted character. There's a lot of drama and acting involved in that, right? Well, no, he can't act. He can have good one-liners and he can shoot people. He's, his one-liners half the time don't even work, dude. But, you know, he, like, repeats what the other guy says in, like, a really dramatic way. It's it's cool. Yeah, but see, Keanu Reeves is kind of like your retarded cousin that everyone likes, but, you know, they're also <laughs> aware he's retarded. Yeah, that's kind of, you know, it's Keanu, right? It's called <laughs> Keanu Rita? I'm still okay with, with it. I, I'm okay with it. I know, I know. They probably would have to dumb down the character a little bit, but I'd be okay with it. Oh. Well, let, let me put a caveat on it. There are plenty of fine character actors out there they could find to play that character very well. Will they do it? Because they always want to like cast some new, fresh new face. I'm like, you know, go look for somebody who can really wrap their head around the role and then you know, put some other people around him, supporting characters that have names. That's how what I would do. I'd want to see somebody who could embody him. But if they don't want to do that and you want to make some money, sure, Keanu Reeves. I Keanu. think Keanu's lane going forward is basically John Wick, which he's great at. He's fantastic. Yeah, he didn't have the and more of a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like older mentor-like role in movies like that. If you're going to put him in a mm. movie like this, that's well, where he's going to have to be. transition, that's for sure. Yeah, he's just getting too old, and it doesn't... Yeah. I mean, yeah, I know some Hollywood guys have acted in action movies into their 60s and 70s and stuff, but that usually looks ridiculous, it and everybody just sad. sees through it. Yeah, Unless you're Kirk <laughs> Douglas. I don't know. Liam Neeson did pretty good. He did. That is yeah, fair. but he's... He's, <sighs> he's Liam Neeson. And Keanu he is, is, he is, is Keanu Reeves. That's, that's exactly <laughs> who he is. Uh, all right, cult film video. You, I, I, I let you get by with the first one, but this one you don't get to go by with. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf, <laughs> Moon Knight. Get the hell out. Get out. <laughs> oh, my God. What the hell is wrong with you? We can't, we uh, can't have this. No. Uh, although we Alan allow this. We can't. Alan has actually a very good suggestion. Homelander from The Boys. Yeah. <laughs> No, oh, yeah, that guy could oh, yeah, play yeah. psychotic. Oh my gosh, sure. that would be great. I, See, I, that's yeah, the that problem cool. right there is we have to have somebody who can play a psychopath, like somebody who's insane. 
a crazy person. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You do. Yeah. I don't know if Keanu can pull that off anymore. I don't think he, I don't think he wants to pull that off anymore, to be honest with you. I don't think he wants to get in that headspace. I don't think he could ever pull it off. What are you talking about? Well, if you he, know why, if there was some uh, movie. What, what's the movie I'm thinking of in the '90s? It was like a cyberpunk movie where he kind of did. What Johnny Mnemonic? Johnny yeah, Mnemonic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was campy as hell. But that I think that could work in a Moon Knight movie. No, if he he's still was crazy. He still was Ted in Johnny Mnemonic. He's Ted in every movie. It's just <laughs> Ted doing stuff. Yeah. Whoa! And seriously, that was I mean, perfect. Look, Good job, Booster. Yeah, you go watch watch uh, you know the original Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, and then watch every other movie. Now, I love Keanu Reeves. I think he's a, actually I think he's a, a a really good person. All counts. I've worked in the industry. Everybody, there's nobody has a bad thing to say about the guy. Nobody. But you know he's got a limited range. He does, uh, and of course he is a very nice guy. And and when you have nice people in Hollywood, you should cherish them because they're rare, right? Yeah. Uh, and if you have a director who knows how to deal with Keanu. It's fine. The Matrix came off just fine. I mean, uh, the the John Wick stuff works just fine. It's because they know how to deal with what they have. Uh, but when you have him in a lot, most everything else you see him in, he's horrible because they 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 don't know how to handle it, right? Keanu, because he is one, plays a fantastic introverted hero. He kills that when he's stoic and doesn't mm-hmm. say very much. And I'm not saying this because he's a bad actor. I don't think he's a bad actor. I just don't think he has a lot of range. What he's good at, he's great at, and he's made a career out of it. So why try and push him out of there in his 50s? I, I just don't see – I don't think he's – he definitely doesn't have an ego, at least not a big one like that. So I don't think he would even <laughs> accept this role unless they threw just, like, Matrix money at him. Yeah, but – And it was can't. like, yeah, here's $60 million. Okay, now that like, I'm in my 50s, it's time to explore my range. <laughs> yeah, I just don't think that yeah, – I, I don't think he'd care. I, I think you're right. I, he probably just doesn't care. He takes what he wants to take. He doesn't have to. And, you know, as far as like, and like I said, everything I ever hear about him is good and that he's just a humble dude. So, um, yeah, no, he's, he's you know. a good human. Yeah. Uh, but, um, you know, dude, he can't deliver a line to save his life, dude. He can't. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like, even from John Wick, when, I mean, he, it's great. He's a good action hero because he, he moves well. He has great mm-hmm. range of movement and it's, yeah, it's kind of unique. Great presence. Because he, he, he works his presence. ass off. He's, He's a hard worker. Presence, yeah. yeah, no, you're right. Uh, but, you know, just think about the, the the very first John Wick, right? It's I'm sure it's fresh in our mind. We loved it. Uh, but, uh, you know, he said, people keep asking me if I'm back. Well, yeah, I guess I'm back. It was I horrible. guess I'm fucking it, it was, back. It was horrible, dude. I was like, oh, I my God. The last... I love the fight scene where the guy is like, it's time to end this. And he's like, yeah. And he's like, no guns. No guns. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> whatever. I just thought that was yeah, kind of happening. I've, I've, I've got a Keanu story. Back in the 90s, he was, um, you know, he, he was on a, well, first of all, uh, Conan O'Brien did a thing about talking about him, and they they did his um, they had a thing where they do people's um, headstones, and it would say, and then they brought up Keanu Reeves, and it says, "Died something something, we love you, dumbass." And then he came on, and he mentioned that, and he goes, "Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen." And that's the type of thing that I think about Keanu every time I think about him, is that he he saw the joke, they made fun of him, and he didn't have a problem with it. Now, and and if we get him to do something like. You know, get him to do Moon Knight. I I don't really think he's going to be great, but I'd still watch it because I just like the guy, and um, yeah. I enjoy watching him on the film. And even if he delivers a line and it just comes off flat, um, so that's my that's my opinion. See, I, I think everybody... he's hit or miss on that personally. Uh, some lines, yeah, he they are meh, but then other times he's fine. It just depends on what his character I will, doing agree. It. I, I will agree that that's true plus he also I, is, I'm, I'm, is like you said he has great physical charisma so well, yeah, he doesn't he, need to talk he talks with true. his body and his movements and his stuff. presence on film is very it, it's it's palpable i mean when he comes on film people want to watch him and, and it doesn't hurt that like he i mean most girls i know think he is a very attractive man and and it's that's oh yeah part of it my wife being one of so, those girls yeah uh, but uh, no, you're right, Adrian, 100%. Point blank and speed. Uh, and, you know, okay, all right. Point blank and speed, 
there were some shaky lines, but it was the best acting I think we've seen him do. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. But a then again, break. he had Patrick Swayze to help him out, dude. And Sandra Bullock. Right? Yep. Oh, he's a better he actor than he Sandra he Bullock. Is, he, uh, Sandra know, pulls off the Dizzy Cutie really well, dude. No. Maybe Sandra Bullock got ago. famous because she has nice legs and was the type of girl that uh, Hollywood producers like to have sex with. That's why she's famous. Oh, she's a, she's a casting couch tata, huh? All right. Yeah. All right. Well, they all seem to be. They've all come out of the word work thing. We, he, 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 Harvey Weinstein. He, 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 he. But you know, the funny thing about it, other than the fact that you accept it, therefore you're a whore. Uh, the funny thing for me, though, is just think about this. How many gorgeous freaking women Harvey Weinstein has banged over the years, dude? <laughs> Damn. Mm. It's a little bit revolting, actually. I mean, think about it. I, 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 it, whatever you say, I'm just saying. Look at the list. That guy has been, no, been well, up just, in I'm it. I'm just dude. saying. The, I'm just saying the visual is revolting. It's just like you know. I mean, look at Harvey Weinstein. That is like Beauty and the Beast. It's uh, hey. yeah. Well, but the but I, I'm assuming you you don't disagree with the fact that they agreed. Well, it's, if, it's if not they like agree, he actually raped I mean, anybody. He, you know, I'm probably somebody out there is going to hear this and say I'm some sort of terrible misogynist, but there, the, the trends action for that is is a longstanding thing, and women use the, the capabilities they have, and they get bought, they you know they get over doing stuff like that, and it's sure. not going to stop no matter what you know Me Too says, it's still going to go on because that's the nature of the beast. We are yeah. humans, and we are going to do that. That's true. And and some somebody wants to move up. If they don't have the talent, or if they do, but if they don't have the talent, they're going to use the, the talent that they have, and they're going to get to where they want to go. Uh, you know, this is not just uh, limited to females either. Males have done the same thing, especially in Hollywood. Um, it's a it's a screwed up place. It's an interesting <clears throat> industry for if you want to explore debauchery and. Uh, the darker side of life, and it's it's all under just a, just sure. seething under the cover. So uh, this whole thing, this whole explosion, and using feminism as a blah 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 blah. Are you gonna get rid of the you know, the oldest pro, um, the oldest profession? Nah. Oh no, they, but at the same time, they 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 will support that. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, no. I mean, I don't want to get in a long conversation with it. It's just all dumb. But uh, sorry, man. Uh, I went. I, I went agree on a with tangent you. there. Oh, that's all right. And uh, over here, cult film video. Don't don't get me wrong. I love Keanu Reeves. I mean, it, with all his flaws, we still love him. So oh, that yeah. that's the power of his charisma. Uh, he doesn't even need to say anything for you to love Keanu Reeves. And of course, on top of it, he's a good human being. That just adds to the the mystique of it. Uh, but uh, he's a good boy. Yeah, that's right. No, you're not a terrible yeah. misogynist. You're a terrific misogynist. There you go, Booster. Look at it like that. Uh-huh. Look at it like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it was Jimmy that said that booster. I'm, I'm not a misogynist. I, re- I respect women. <laughs> Booster's, the tra- Booster's the transphobe. That's fair. That's probably true. Well, yeah. yeah. Th- have you seen them? They're terrifying looking. <laughs> they are. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's what I I'm have kidding. to offer I'm kidding. I'm today. not a transphobe. Why would we be afraid of something that has a 40% chance to kill itself? Oh, wow. Ooh, dude, that was dark. <laughs> that was dark. Too soon. I don't know, Booster. Too I've soon. played a lot of Final Fantasy games, and bombs are terrifying. I'm just saying. Because <laughs> they explode on you. Yeah, they, they self destruct. Explode. That was a big, deep nerd joke. That was a, right there. That was a big brain joke. If you didn't I get didn't that, get that. You're not a real fan of Final Fantasy. I'm not. I'm not. I didn't get it at all. You lost me. Freaking. Well, weed. I thought it was a Mario joke. No, well, they do that. Yeah, that too. That, the that's bomb. The bomb. The right? bomb. Yeah. yeah, that's a bomb. Not not a bomb. The bomb. The bomb. Yeah. I th- I I I've Ba-ba! heard the joke before. I just thought it was a Mario. Sounds like one, a Hans Zimmer Final trailer Fantasy. track. That's interesting. I do have to say one thing that's it's not comic book related, but it's about video game. Cyberpunk oh. 2077 today released one of their you know hype videos they've been doing for the game, and they released the system requirements. What they're going to be? That's uh-huh. fantastical. It's insane how good CD Projekt Red is at optimization. Oh yeah. Like yeah. even if the game isn't that good, and I still think it's probably going to be okay. Um. The opt the way they can optimize these games is they're the best in the industry. It's not they just they need everyone else should just come to them for it. They yep. should just contract it out because they're the absolute best. 
I, I know Witcher three you could practically run on like a ten year old like a like a two thousand five computer if it was a really good one. Like Fucking it was great. ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Yeah, but th- particularly someone like Bethesda, they should source out oh, all of God. their optimizations to uh, CD Projekt Red. I agree with that. Well, yeah, luckily um, they're now owned by Microsoft, so it'll get better. You say, <laughs> how do you think that's going to work out? Actually, horrible. I think Microsoft is terrible at optimization, and they always have been. And Bethesda is not going to get better. And they never, and they just have no interest in getting better. Well, it's just a sad story. <laughs> Well, uh, I mean, Booster might be able to back the Thunder as well. Might be able to back this up, but I mean, if you look at the, uh, you would assume Microsoft would dominate the video game landscape, right? It's Microsoft, it but they so. don't. If you look at the history of Microsoft, it's a history of debacle and absolute yeah. failure when it comes to video I think game stuff. Most of us who play PC games remember games to Windows Live. Oh my on God! PC. Yeah, they just screwed it up. Now, do you think this is another failed attempt by them to get into video games? Or is this them saying, look, we can't do it. We suck at it. Kind of like Disney handing off things they can't do, like video games and things like and, and things like that. Uh, do you think it's Microsoft saying, putting their hands up, quitting, and say, all right, let someone who knows what they're doing do it? Um, no, I think it's solely them trying to regain attention and market share from Sony. Yeah. Uh, because they know even though they're putting out a more powerful machine, most likely they were going to lose because Sony has better exclusives, and they have for two generations now. Yeah, that's true. It is true. Uh, and, of course, uh, the one thing that Xbox has got going on is the machine seems to be slightly better, but honestly, my PC here yes. will kick the shit out of it. Uh, but, yeah. uh, but the actual, uh, what is it called, the, X, the Xbox Pass or the Xbox Game whatever? Pass. Xbox yeah, Game, Game Pass. Pass really? Yeah, yeah. It's cheap, and you get ridiculous value. It's ridiculous value, right? That mm-hmm. is the thing that's banging on it, and and it, and they've already said that they're dropping the Bethesda games on it for free. Yeah. Huh. So I mean, that's a big. It, that's it's a big just smack, a massive. Dude. It's basically just a seven billion dollar marketing scheme to try and get them, you know, over the top in this generation because they need to win one. Uh, they lost the last one, and they lost the one before it. So they need to win this one to, you know, just for the their own sanity, probably. Um, yeah. <laughs> so they'll probably, they probably actually will, at least in sales, largely because of Bethesda. Uh, they're still a massive, super popular company. Skyrim's still one of the most successful games of all time. Yeah. Um, so they probably will eke that out, especially if they can keep everything exclusive. And considering they own them now, I think that'll be easy. So we'll see though, because Sony, that, that PlayStation, their exclusives are, have, and for years are just amazing. They're fantastic games uh, by and large, and they just keep pumping out fantastic exclusives. So we'll, we'll see. But I think anybody who uh, is a PC gamer and doesn't, as soon as there's more available, buy the new NVIDIA cards is an idiot because they're about the same price as, uh, the next generation consoles are and way more powerful, way yeah. more powerful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I agree with you that I, I don't buy consoles because I use PC. I have, I have a monster here. So uh, that, I mean, why would I buy a console? Uh, but right. therefore I am much more, the whole Xbox uh, game pass thing is much more appealing to me because that applies to me on my, on my computer. Right. Mm. Um, but um I don't know, dude, because I watched, uh, I'm kind of curious Booster's opinion, but I watched the uh, place, the Xbox uh, digital, you know, uh, E3, basically, and I watched the PlayStation digital E3. I wasn't impressed anywhere, dude, at all. What I about you, Booster? glimpses of that stuff, I, yeah, I didn't really give a shit. <laughs> that, that's, that's kind of the, uh, my summary of it, right? I yeah, but you're didn't, a gamer, didn't care though. about the... Yeah, but I didn't care for these um, either of these E3s, man. They didn't impress me. I, no. Yeah, it didn't make my PP tingle. All I care about right now is Baldur's Gate 3 and um, oh, yeah. Bravely yeah. Default 2. I'm into my RPGs, and that's all I'm waiting for at the moment. Until then, I'm just addicted to Risk of Rain 2. Very ho- hopelessly addicted to it. That's cool. Uh, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not a gamer. What about Cyberpunk? What 20, What's it called? 2077? 2077, yeah. 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 Has that um, come out? No, not yet. <sighs> November, I believe. November. Yeah. Yeah. I so heard it's good. Be I'm, 
it's launching with the new consoles. Uh, now, Booster, you're a PC guy. You're not a console guy, right? Uh, it's mostly PC and my Switch. Ah, uh, Switch. There you go. Yeah, my kids love yeah. the Switch. Um, I like and... the Switch. You know, uh, my question is always to pull the consoles is always, uh, what can this console do that my PC can't? The uh, answer is almost nothing until the Switch came along, which is, hey, you can uh, take it around places. I'm like, sold. Sold, yeah. And awesome. it's, it's a nice platform. Uh, Thundera, what, what are you, a console or PC guy? Uh, PC and PlayStation. But yeah. the I don't know if I'm getting a PS5. I, I, I want to, mm. um, but I also don't want to. The main reason I want to is because my PS4... I don't, it, it keeps overheating and it has been for a few years. It'll do everything but play like games for long periods of time. Um, so I haven't got a new one because I don't really use it. I just use my PC and my wife just watches Netflix or whatever on it. But so I want to get a PS5 because the last few years, there've been a bunch of exclusives that came out mm-hmm. that were really good that yeah. I didn't get to play. Uh, and that's really the only reason I've even thought about doing it. Because they don't come out on PC. But I'm not going to buy an Xbox when pretty much every Xbox game just comes out on PC anyway. Uh, Eventually. And it plays better on PC usually, too. Because, you know, they're more powerful. But, so yeah, I I tend to stick to PC. Especially since it has the games that I prefer. Which are like strategy games. That's where they're all at. Mm -hmm. So, that's pretty much what I prefer to do. I only get one of the consoles if there's exclusives I want to play. And PlayStation, the last generation had those big time like the final uncharted game and you know the spider-man game Spider-Man which i never got to play but a bunch of there's other ones war. too yeah i got a war um so that's really what sells consoles in my opinion yeah. i think is the what games the you can play on it yeah, yeah it makes especially sense. Yeah, when I, you I get older games. and you can just get a, a pc like i said if, if you're a pc gamer and you want to be sure you're future proofed those new nvidia cards are future proofed for five years at least yeah, because no. they're more powerful than the cards that are in the consoles right now that yeah. are coming out. Yeah, uh, so that just is get one. True. Yeah, and, we'll, and they're cheap for a new PS4. card. Usually, a new card oh, really? is you know twelve hundred bucks. These ones are only seven hundred. So oh, get really? one if you. Yeah, oh, that's mm. cheap, dude. Uh, yeah, you know, here's another way to look at it though. Someone like me, I might buy bite on the Xbox Game Pass, right? Uh, but if I wanted to play PlayStation exclusives, I'd buy the console. I wonder if that might come back to bite them a little bit. You know, we shall see. Yeah. Well, they only sold about half as many Xbox Ones as PlayStation Fours did. Oh because yeah, they got PlayStation stomped. was a monster, dude. That's yeah, they true. got completely stomped this last generation. Um, so I think the reason and the only way they make that up is because of PC. So I think that's why they're not like normally they're not too concerned about it. And one of the reasons they bought Bethesda, which is actually a brilliant move by Microsoft is how big their games are on PC. I mean, there's people yeah. who still play Oblivion for crying out loud. Morrowind is one of the best yeah. uh, uh, Elder Scroll games they ever made, dude. Uh, but uh, I will be buying a PlayStation 5. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll actually play it on it myself, but I will, I'll, bo- I'll buy it for my boy. Um, because he just plays games. He doesn't need the computer for much else other than study, I guess. Uh, but uh, So for him, a console is perfect, right? Um, and I'll definitely get him a PlayStation 5 here, probably a Christmas present or something like that. Um, anybody know what they're going to be charging for these damn things now? Uh, from what I understand, the because the, the PlayStation is going to have two different versions. It's going to have a digital-only version, which is cheaper, and then one with a drive in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one with the drive in it is 100 bucks more. I think it's like 500 and then the other one's $400. Uh, American dollars, obviously. That's not so 400 bad. So yeah, it's actually really cheap. But like I said, if unless there's you know some specific reason, like your son likes to use consoles or whatever, I if you have a good PC or even a decent one, just buy one of the new Nvidia cards and yeah. you'll be set. It sounds like it. I mean, this card I have in here, uh, I bought this ooh, less than a year ago. I have and I do have the uh, the Zotac in here, the GTX. Uh, this mm-hmm. thing is freaking uh, badass, but. Uh, I, I set this rig up intentionally so that if I, in the future, I can just swap out cards and stuff like that. So I could, I got a big yeah. old, you know, uh, blinking light up type of thingy. Well, with the specs on, on cyberpunk and obviously it's still technically a current generation game, but it is going to come out on the, on the new consoles. I don't think we're going to see a, as huge a jump 
in as far as requirements uh, yeah. that we saw, you know, from PS2 to PS3 and so forth. I think we're going to see a jump, obviously, but it's mostly going to have to do with speed, like CPU speed and, mm-hmm. and drive speed than it is video card and like RAM. I just don't think those are going to shoot up in requirements. I think we're probably near where they're going to go with that for a while because they need to get everything else caught up. CPU speed has been a real problem for gaming for a long time and hard drive speed has been an even bigger one. So they need to get everybody more used to buying more powerful, faster, you know, CPUs and hard drives. Well, it seems like this generation, they're both focusing on transition load times, right? Yeah. Uh, So, and that's cool. Uh, I'm I'm cool with that. Uh, but uh, uh, Roger says, Chester, you'll be impressed when the PS5 Pro comes out. Uh, then you will see. Uh, yeah, no, I, I'm sure it'll be fine. I have no trouble with consoles. I just have no need for them uh, because my computer can do everything I need it to do. Um, mm. And to be fair, uh, I do play a lot of video games when I have time. I, I, I try to get an hour here or there in the night before I go to bed. Uh, but um, I tend to play games like, uh, you know, civilization and uh let's see let me check right real quick what am i playing right now i forget the name of it here let me come over to my uh desktop here oh god i have so many windows up uh let me see here um what am i playing oh uh let me see here so i got um ooh, crap uh that's a good one i like that one uh, crossroad roads in i've been playing for quite a while i like that one city skylines i like quite a bit uh and uh but that's not the one i've been playing though what's the one i've been playing um uh oh yeah yeah that new one the uh medieval dynasty yeah i wanted to check that out that looks really cool it yeah, looks it's like on, it's a straight it's ripoff Steam. of uh kingdom come deliverance's entire graphical and art style yeah <laughs> i'd agree but the game looks really cool <laughs> yeah no it is fun uh i've only been uh, i've only played maybe three hours on it so far but uh i'm enjoying it i've been watching a series with uh raptor and uh he i like his series uh but uh, i like that kind of stuff so to be fair the machine i have is way overkill dude uh, it's yeah. way overkill uh but yeah adrian you're 100 percent right morrowind is one of the best rpgs ever uh, rpgs ever yes uh, absolutely can you guys name a better rpg uh witcher 3 yeah, Divinity is Original Sin good. 2. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's a good too. one too. But <clears throat> Final Fantasy well, 6. Morrowind is fantastic. It's in that in that top five category, in my opinion. Well, uh, I think it's how you categorize it, though, because for me, it can't be a true RPG unless you can make the truth. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> unless you can customize your own character. Mm. For me, but it again. And that has to go there again, more context has to go. How far do you mean full creation Yep. or just you have a character and you can change them around full creation. That's exactly what I mean. Yeah. Well then that would exclude Witcher from it, uh, from your list, but I would still put uh, divinity ahead. It's (laughs) divinity. The original sin two is unbelievable. It's a really great. Oh no, I own it. I love it. Yeah. It's badass. Um, and it's very Diablo esque. So you don't get to see your character so clean anyway. Uh, but, um, uh, I didn't even play the Witcher until my son made me play it. Right. Because I was like, what do I want to play knockoff El, uh, El, uh, Eldrick for? I don't need <laughs> knock knockoff Eldrick. What the hell? Um, but, but my son was no, it's really good. It's really good. And I was like, all right, fine. It was good. <laughs> it was badass. That's a great game, dude. Does that he just a do a game. racist accent for your own son? No. Yeah. <laughs> Sound like that person. Sound like you. Who's very good at Chester Dad? <laughs> okay, I could if you wanted. Does your uh, son, in all honesty, though, now that Booster brought it up, does your son have a, a Japanese accent when he no, speaks English? No, or? he's no, he's, he's English. fluent. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Damn. I mean, my kids were oh. born in a, in Hawaii, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, they're technically American citizens. They are. They hold. They hold dual citizenship. Yeah. Oh, yeah. bastard! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Both my kids sound like uh, sound like me. Yeah. Uh, oh but, my God! Uh, really? Even your daughter? I hope yeah, not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a sad thing. We don't talk about it much. Family that dirty secret. a lot. Why uh, she can't get a date, bro? <laughs> <laughs> but no, of course, it's an incredible bonus for them. And uh, li- you know, they were they were still little when we moved over here. But I was an absolute stickler. Anytime they were around me, which is in the house, in the car, no Japanese allowed. 
No Japanese allowed in the house. And uh, I was I was a bit of brute about it. And uh, but I'm telling you what, they're thanking me now for it. Yeah. So. Yeah, they should have. It actually will make uh, finding employment much easier. Oh God, yeah. Yeah, easy, easy. Uh, but, of course, I'm not sure what they're going to do. I mean, my, my daughter's got a job, and she's fine. But uh, my son, he I, I, I told you guys that my son passed his test, and he's going into the master's program. Nice. Yeah, no, it was pretty – we were all happy about that. Uh, we had a, we had a dinner. We went out to dinner, Thundero. It was nice. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. We was, got there, was there lots of uh, seafood involved? No, yakiniku. That's what my boy, boy likes. Japanese barbecue and there are little pieces of meat on the uh, grill, like a table uh, grill built in the table. Yeah, that's good. That's the American in them. Yeah, well, it's all you can eat. It's nice. <laughs> that's that's really the American. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's actually not bad. What did I pay? Uh, each person was like sixty bucks, something like that. Sixty bucks each, uh, and it was all you can eat of any kind of meat, vegetable, or whatever you want. You know, it was bet- we, that is an expensive buffet. Not really. Not for what you're not. This is like, you know, Japanese Wagyu stuff, dude. It's not expensive at all. You say so, rich man. Well, I mean, it's about as high as I'll go for a buffet. But, you know, in that case, <laughs> in that case, it's actually a pretty good deal because of the, because of the meat, the cut of beef and that you're talking about, you can have all you want. Right. Yeah. It, it's the uh, that's the issue. <clears throat> but usually, no, I won't spend me walking more. in there. I'll bankrupt them. Yeah, right. Uh, but uh, they they kind of shiver when they see me coming. I think uh, the funny <laughs> thing is actually in my family, I eat the less, little the least. Well, that was bad. Yeah, Oof. yeah. Yeah, Japanese people. This is just completely completely off topic. Well, kind of on topic. Japanese people do seem to eat a lot. They're big eaters. Oh yeah, I've noticed. They do eat a lot and they drink a lot too, and, and they're all thin. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Hell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Piece of shit. They, 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 uh, they're very, they're, what do they call them? Foodies? They're culinary. People. Oh, no, they're definitely yeah. foodies. Yeah, that's true. Definitely foodies. Yeah. Uh, but actually, I have my daughter. I'm glad, come you're, back. I'm glad you're not talking about the uh, gaming stuff anymore because I have nothing to add. That's all right. We, we figured. We felt it. We felt it in our soul. Uh, but, yeah. uh, cause yeah. I got to run here, but I'm just having fun chatting. But, uh, my daughter came back and, um, uh, we, uh, uh, for the, we had a long weekend. She, she came back cause we haven't been able to see her since January. Right. Cause they're kind of asked everyone not to leave your prefectures to kind of stay in your prefectures, uh, because of the, 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 the Corona Chan. Uh, so it was yeah. the first time we've seen her this year. Right. Uh, the boy came back uh, a couple times, but, uh, it was the first time we've seen her this year. So that was nice. We went out to dinner, a couple dinners actually. And, uh, yeah, damn, she eats like crazy. And she's, she's this skinny, you know, tall, skinny Japanese girl. Right. It's like, damn it, dude. It's not right. Just, Lucky just bitch. burying the food. Right. <laughs> what are you kidding? Ugh. You're not a girl. I can soak her, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time to get out of here. I got to run into the city. Uh, and, uh, you know, it was nice talking to everybody in here and chatting. I know my schedule has been ridiculous, and I do apologize for that, guys. But um, I did get the moving done yesterday. Um, <clears throat> I'm probably a little more chatty than I should be today, but uh, I just haven't talked to you guys in a while. But um, I did get my moving done yesterday, uh, so that's good. Uh, in under three weeks, I moved an entire school. Well, that's pretty good, I think. Um, so, uh, I will be, yeah, not bad. So I'll be starting up classes again here on Thursday here, here for us. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's all well, all good. And my schedule should be back to a more normal too, but I do apologize for all my, uh, my absences. Uh, but nevertheless, well, thank you, Booster. I love you too. I am a forgiving Lord. You are. That is true. So since you're talking, why don't you give your closing comments? And, uh, I think we'll let slick, uh, namaste us today. I'm I'm Booster Kiwi on YouTube and Twitter. I I'd like someone to come give me a back rub because I'm in a lot of pain. If I yeah. was there, I would give you one. I'm a licensed massage therapist. Are you? Really? Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I haven't used it for years, but I know what I'm doing. Will you use like oils and everything for me? I could if you needed it. Oh, can I, I have a that? table. I have a chair. I have all yeah. the stuff, all the boosters that uh, you use yeah. to do stuff. I know what I'm doing. That's good. I, I even, I even well, have hot. I even have hot rocks. 
Oh no, my my techniques are much better. So, mm-hmm. Like, so basically, what I do is just take him, pick him up over my head, and just go rrr, 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 like that, and he'd be awesome. yeah. You know, power no, bombing might not need to be the thing that you need to do. I, I think no, I don't know. Someone <laughs> might need to just crack all my bits into place. I might need that as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope you back. Do you have a chiropractor? You can go to chiropractor see if they can realign you. Uh, yeah, I've been trying that. It's not—it's uh, slightly helping. Yeah, you know. Do you have anybody that knows what they're doing? Do they have a table? Do they have a, like somebody around that you know can yeah. rub you over? All you do is like uh, warm the area up and and, and this uh, conversation is going a very the... strange direction, Thunder. Well, no, I'm, I, I, this is a, this is this is what I'm talking about. Is like like you need to get the lactic acid out of the out of the muscles that are grabbing, and they yeah, are, sure. they're grabbing. Mm-hmm. And so you get that. You, once it gets that out, you'll start healing. Well, the problem with chiropractic is, uh, you know, I, I told you guys I had back trouble once and I had to go get a shot. Uh, they they <clears throat> suggested I go to a chiropractor first. So I did. And it helps for like a day. And then it's the, yeah, they're yeah, right yeah. back to it. Yeah, my body it depends just on the, like It depends on the chiropractor up. you go to. They're different, they're different um, practitioners now. They do their modality. So, well, I had a little lady yeah. who was literally walking on my back, jumping up and down, like elbowing me and stuff yeah. like that. You know, she was going I'm down, one of those you know. people that... I don't like the ones where they twist you or where they jump on you. I I prefer people who use a pneumatic table with incremental like adjustments and uh, you know be very careful about what they're doing because you know you're adjusting your back uh, and if you push too much you might make it worse and uh, that's that's my opinion. Well, my wife's opinion when I went to chiropractor was what she wished that the woman was more clothed and I said, Nah, it's all right. That that's not a. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he could the thunder. How could he not see me? Kind of leading oh, that way. I was hooking it me. in. How could he not see that? You dude? got me. You, you <laughs> sunk the hook, and you're real man. You Jesus. chuckle fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, Booster. I hope you guys. I hope you're feeling better. Seriously, because uh, back me trouble too. does suck balls, man. It's not good. It does. I yeah. just want to get back to work. <laughs> and when you're having trouble lifting 10 kgs or something, it's pretty fucking embarrassing. It is, dude. Yeah, yeah. 10, yeah. 10 kilos of spaghetti? Damn, that's serious, dude. That's, no, it was like that's a lot boxes. of spaghetti. That's a lot of spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, yeah. If you can't lift that, it's it's embarrassing. That's all right. That's spicy. I mean, Paul. You're still young. You'll work it out. Uh, just go get the so. naked masseuses and they'll rub up their titties up on you. You'll be good. You'll be good. Yeah. Where do I yeah. get that? <laughs> it's called it's called shiatsu, but you know, have at it. Uh, Thundero. Yes. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to say. I have nothing at all to say. He's got nothing. This this whole year and this whole world deserves meteor twenty twenty. That's where I'm at. I hope everybody's ready for November because it's gonna be. Gonna it's be gonna wild. be crazy. It is, it's dude. Gonna suck. <clears throat> this has been quite the year, though. It has been quite the year. True. All right, Slick. Well, finish this out for the day, man. Finish this off. We need killing. Well, I'm I'm fairly philosophical today mm-hmm. because of the uh, recent events, and um, I, I I differ from our friend Thundar. I don't think the world is heading for flames. I think there is still goodness in the world. It's all around you. Even though we see crazy people and doing crazy things, and it seems like everything's flying apart at the seams, the truth is, this is just a sliver in the vastness of time. And um, this too shall pass. So hug those that you love. Let them hug you. And take stock and solace in the fact that you have somebody there for you. And if you don't, I trust me, there are people out there that will love you anyway. Go find them and hug them. Namaste. 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 Very good. Booster, keep in mind, hugging does not is not an equivalent to diddling. It's different. This is true. Diddling. No diddling. Yeah. I'm not supposed to pelvic thrust while I hug someone. No. No, that's then, no not, yeah. not unless oh, that's it's how a certain doing situation. It wrong. A certain I know situation. My dad doesn't talk do to me anymore. Later. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, aloha.